BCCI photo New Delhi, Indian skipper Harman Preet Kaur's experience helped secure a six-wicket victory for India against Pakistan in the Women's T20 World Cup, keeping their semi-final hopes alive on Sunday. Chasing a modest target of 106 runs, India struggled but managed to clinch the win thanks to Harman Preet's 24-ball 29-run innings. She retired hurt with two runs needed to win, and Sajna Sajeevan, on her debut, sealed the victory with a boundary. Opener Shefali Verma, 32 of 35 balls, and number 3 Jemima Rodriguez, 23 of 28 balls, adopted a cautious approach, affecting India's net run rate, NRR, negatively. India vs Pakistan, as it happened India's current NRR stands at minus 1.217 below Pakistan's minus 0.555. To keep semi-final hopes alive, India must win against Australia and Sri Lanka by significant margins. The Indian innings included only five boundaries, and the top three batters struggled to accelerate. With Smriti Mandana out early, Shefali and Jemima focused on singles. The heat impacted the running between the wickets, with easy doubles and triples left unattempted. Shefali's fitness issues and Jemima's reliance on timing over power added pressure on the batting unit. Hurman Preet took charge after the dismissal of Jemima and Richard Hosh of consecutive deliveries by Fatima. Earlier, Indian bowlers contained Pakistan to 105 for 8. Reno Kasing Thakur, 123, and Rundati Reddy, 319, maintained discipline in their line and length. Off spinners Deepti Sharma, 124, and Shreya Kapato, two twelfths, focused on burying their pace. Leg spinner Arsha Shobna, 124, took the wicket of Pakistan skipper Fatima, thanks to a sharp catch by Richard Hosh. India restricted Pakistan to 29 for 2 in the power play. Nidhar Das' 28 runs provided some resistance but were insufficient to post a challenging total. Indian bowlers delivered 58 dot balls, reflecting their control over the game. India now needs to capitalize on this win and maintain momentum in their upcoming matches to advance to the semi-finals. For more on this story, visit the news article link.